Hey everyone, welcome back to my video series on building my own DIY photo booth. Uh, in the last video, I uh, started applying stain to my frame and uh, it's the next day. It's actually, I did that yesterday morning and now it's afternoon. Um, I came in this morning and it turns out that the, the stain wasn't quite dry. I think I applied it a little thick in some spots. Um, so in those areas, I, I actually kind of just wiped it down with a rag, wiped off the excess, um, and it seems to be pretty dry now. It's not 100%, um, but before I get into assembling the unit and, and putting all the components where they belong, let me remind you that you can download an ebook of the instructions that I used to uh, Kind of guide this process. It's not step by step how to build this exact photo booth, uh, but kind of the the thought processes that I went through, uh, determining components, uh, determining how, uh, what sort of construction I was going to use, that sort of thing. You can download that from the link below or at shutterpilot.com slash DIY dash photo dash booth. So with that, uh, I'm going to start assembling the photo booth, putting all the components in. I do have one thing that I'll need to uh, Gorilla Glue into place, uh, but I'll pause the video and kind of explain what I'm doing when I get to that point. So let's get to it. components in and you can see the one thing that's left remaining to do is I need to put this power strip right against that wall there uh, so you can see I, I, I cut out this notch and it looks like it's gonna be perfect just the right size for that that cable to fit through I just need to glue this over to the side with enough space for everything to plug in and then then we should be good to go so I'm gonna do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, and it's been a couple hours, and 
the glue, it, it hasn't cured, but it's uh, solid enough that we can, we can prop the footer boots up like this. And uh, I, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I do, you know, I do wish the, the power strip weren't quite so white and kind of in your face there, but eh, maybe for uh, round two, we'll, uh, we'll figure out a different way. Um, I will say if I made the box a little bit thicker, I definitely would have had more space and I probably could have fit the power strip along the side and, and made it a little more hidden. So something to think about for, again, for the, for the next iteration, but I, I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. Um, I, I still don't have the back, uh, plexi, uh, on, um, and I probably won't put that on, on video. I'll probably, uh, hold off on that and just do that, you know, when I'm ready to, to, to take it somewhere. Um, just, I don't want to bore you with all those details, but it's basically going to go on the same way the front went on. So that about does it for the build, but we're not done yet. The next video is going to be all about the software. So I'm actually going to turn it on and, uh, and, and start running some software on it. And, uh, We'll, we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for that one. Remember to like, uh, subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when that video comes out. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see this. Uh, I'll also probably do kind of a, a video at the end, kind of recap uh, the overall build, what's in it, kind of just a quick, here's what it is, uh, and maybe spin it around and show a 360 view. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one.